Hey everybody, this is Kostas Papadakis from Strategic Online Profits and in today's training I'm going to talk to you about Sales Funnels which I believe is a key system to have in place for making money online. For those of you who are not familiar with Sales Funnels, in simplicity it's just a series of uh, web pages interconnected together to form a common goal which is to take someone that is a first time visitor to your site initially convert him to a subscriber we call this, we call this convert to a lead and then hopefully if the sales funnel is good and you've got set it up right to convert this lead into a customer now today i'm going to talk to you about the simplest of sales funnels that you can have and in maybe another training I will go a little bit more advanced and show you some of the more advanced sales funnels that people, that marketers use a day and they are responsible for many, many thousands of sales, okay? Which sometimes means millions of dollars. But for now, let's start simple and let me just show you the simplest sales funnel that you need to have if you're going to do anything online. And what you see on your screen here is just a representation of what I call the simple sales funnel, okay? Um, basically, what you need forget traffic for now and I'm not going to touch on traffic on this video there will be some other training videos that you can f learn more about traffic but first before you send anything anywhere you really need to have a sales funnel in place and in simplest form is a squeeze page which you may have already seen in another training how to build one up and basically this is the page where we give something for free in exchange for someone opting in into our list okay so they put the name and email or just that email as a minimum all right and then they opt in to get whatever it is we offer here and then they are in our sales funnel as we call it and then we can show them a one-time offer and we can follow up with them with uh, follow-up offers basically okay so the whole idea is to build at least something like that, okay? So a simple sales funnel is a squeeze page, show them a one-time offer page, something for, for, for people to buy, and then a thank you page, one for the squeeze page, and one for the paid product, basically. This paid product, of course, can be uh, another, another person's product. It can be an affiliate product, okay? It doesn't have to be your product. But as a minimum, you do need to give something here, because the number one, thing in internet marketing and make money online should be to build your list initially okay because then you will have some people where you can market to them and hopefully gain some money uh, down the road by always always providing value first though so this is the simplest funnel and what i'm going to do now what i'm going to do now is actually show you how to build that page not on your website, so without any web hosting or anything like that, but using one of the sort of uh, leading service providers for landing pages, uh, leadpages.net, all right? And um, I'm going to do that because to, this will keep things as simple as possible. Now, uh, depending on where, when you see this video, where you see it from, there should have been another training where I actually saw you in detail and I even give you a template on how to set this one up and how to connect to your autoresponder and I even give you a template for a thank you page. However, I'm going to use lead pages just to show you how quick it is once you have a drag and drop solution and then I'm going to touch a little bit of how, where and how you can actually find something to sell. Alright, I hope this uh, sounds good so let's get started. Now this is the uh, main page for leadpages.net and you may find um, a link uh, banner underneath this video or you don't, it doesn't really matter, it's leadpages.net, okay? And basically, they call themselves the internet's fastest, the internet's easiest next generation lead generation platform. Now, I'm going to use lead pages to build a, a squeeze page, also known as an opt-in page just to show you how easy it is. Now, Lead Pages does this um, unique thing where you can short based on conversion, based on other users' uh, uh, usability, all right? But, you know, I always say keep it simple. So this is a simple squeeze page. Another simple page is uh, this one if you go a video, or this one with a fake video. And, but let me, let me go in and find a simple one to use, another one, another good one to use. All right, let's let's try this one, okay? Which is a nice, uh, it's got a nice background, 
and I'm gonna tell you a little bit why this is a nice page. It's not just so much because it's got uh, you know something uh, pretty to see. In this case, a couple. Okay, it's nice because if you notice once this uh, loads up, um, this person, right, this lady here, is looking at this whatever it's written here, and of course the sort of the call to action. Okay. As you see, it means it doesn't look away. Now, if this box was over here, it wouldn't make a, it wouldn't be a good squeeze page. But because this box is here and this person is looking at it, it makes it for a better squeeze page. But it also makes it for a, a very simple page. Now, the lead page is is drag and drop, and you can just click and hide things. And you can see here on the left, and you can just click here and change stuff. Okay. You can see here I can delete this, I can add stuff, all right? So basically, assuming you've got something to give here, I mean, this is obviously uh, for, a, for a camera, I think, which is not obviously something we want, all right? And, and that's it, really. I mean, obviously, you need to edit this to fit whatever it is you're giving. Now, to configure the, the actual opt-in box, uh, you can see here that it's got um, it's got some uh, text pre-written already. Again, you can just click on it and go here. If it doesn't if it doesn't let you edit straight from here, it will always allow you to edit from the left. And you can see I can go and change stuff like you know get this a hundred percent free when you opt in below. Okay. And you can delete all the rest if you don't like them, all right? And you'll see how now the page on the right changes, okay? This is very powerful, like drag and drop, just type stuff, okay? And you can make this text bigger, you see here, right? The font, okay, the size font, etc. Now, how, the other thing you need really uh, is an autoresponder account, and I've connected my Aweber account, and it's very easy to connect autoresponders uh, there's a button from uh, your account side which is called integration settings and once you connect that and it's very easy like it takes two steps you can then go and ch and, and uh, select it here I've got just more than one to, uh, in this uh, account and what happens is it will load all the lists you've got okay and once once this is there you just do customize this form and you can sort of you know you can maybe remove stuff you don't want all right, maybe just keep the email there. And once you're there, once you're done, you just click OK. And if you say you don't like this download button, you want to edit it, you just click Edit here, and you can change you can change this this text here, and you can just do more info, for example. Okay, so it's very simple. I just wanted to show you. Now, here's where it gets interesting and where we connect the next page, which can be a product that we promote, okay? Now, you could send people to a simple thank you page, which you can still build with, uh, with lead pages, as we're going to show you in a minute. But they, you really need to send them to see an offer. Now, because I haven't found an offer yet, I'm going to go now and find one. But before I do that, just to mention it, where you actually determine where this person will go after they opt in is here basically okay in your autoresponder integration now i've shown you how to do this with aweber in a previous video again if you're using aweber it, this is even simpler because all you have to do is just give here the thank you page basically yeah and this is the url of the thank you page now if it's an affiliate marketing product the link you put here is the url to the actual sales page, whether this is a World Special Offer or a JVZoo Offer or a ClickBank Offer, okay? And once you're ready, let me just do this here. I'm just gonna put Google here, but just to tell you that there is, this is where you actually put where you want uh, this person to get redirected after they put their email to get to whatever it is we're offering, okay? And that page, the squeeze page, is the entrance to our funnel. And that's it, easy? It is, because everything you see here, you can edit. And after, obviously, you need to give it a page name, just to cost us demo. Obviously, you need to use a better name than cost us demo, right, to make more sense. You save the page. You can actually preview the page after it's saved. Just publish here. It hasn't finished saving, that's why. So once it's saved, you can do publish, and you get this little pop-up box and you can either view it on another tab as it will actually be right or 
You can out, you can even publish it on WordPress or even just, just, just download the HTML page and upload it if you've got your own web host or your own web server. And you can even put this as a custom tab inside Facebook, okay? So there's lots and loads of potential. Now, we're done with the squeeze page. Since we are on lead pages, let's, let's now go and actually select the thank you page. And as you can see here, there are many thank you pages. Again, you know, keep things simple. Uh, if you just want to say, you know, here's your download, uh, here's the gift you you sort of um, you chose to you opted in to receive, you can use a simple page like this, okay. And again, this will load up, and you'll be able to edit everything on this page, okay. The image, for example, I can use one of my images here, all right. And there you go. And you can just type in here and just edit anything and here what you need to do is actually give the link to the you know to whatever it is you you promised basically a .zip file a pdf if it was a report etc etc okay and basically let me just give something here download gif.zip or something okay whatever it is the file uh, whatever it is the uh, the file of the name you've um uh, you you want to give as a gift. Now, if you don't have a web server, so you cannot really upload this somewhere, now you can actually go where it says lead magnet, and you see here it says send an email after someone opt on this page, yes, no. Now this is to send them the actual email, so if you don't have a web host, you can actually attach here the gift you want to give, and what will happen is, once people opt in in the squeeze page, they will get a link to this page and immediately they will also get a link to the download page wherever it is you attached, okay? And that's brilliant. Now, assuming we, we're happy with that, let's name this something. Costas, thank you. Something like that, yeah. Obviously, you need to use better names. Then save this. We, we've got this bit covered now. Let me just go back. So we've got this page covered and this page covered, okay? Now how fast was that, <laughs> all right? So the really, the only thing left now to complete the simplest of sales funnels is really to find something to put here, basically. Now this here is something that you wanna sell and make some money, all right? Make some return on investment immediately after someone opt-ins in. Now, it doesn't have to be, you can still have, you, you know, you can still build your list with just this page, squeeze page and a thank you page for the free gift, but it's advisable to always show people something related to the free gift that downloaded and offer them a chance to buy it at a massive discount, for example, and you get a chance to um, get some money on, on your investment, especially if you're buying the traffic almost immediately. Now, you can do the same with loads of pages, you know, once you're on your list, you can send them follow up, etc. But just to keep things simple, the really, the next thing you really need to do is, for example, sign up with jvzoo.com or warrior plus and warrior forum okay i'm going to use jvzoo here but you can obviously use uh either right just sign up it's very simple and you can actually uh google jvzoo sign up and you may find uh, loads of youtube videos to show you step by step how to sign up but it's very simple just uh click here where it says login or register i'm going to do that because i need to log in now anyway and just uh, if you don't have a, if you're not registered, just click register and it will take you step by step, basically. So I'm registered, I'm logged in because I want to show you how quick and easy it is to find a product to offer as a one time offer in the simplest sales funnel design I'm walking you through today. So you need to go where it says, after you register, where it says marketplace, and you can start with the top sellers if you like, and that will be the simplest thing to do. All right, because that these are a list of products for today, but also yesterday and past seven days, etc., that people like and buy. All right, so if uh, if you wanted to sort of uh, put a, a product there that you know it's proven to convert, basically, you could choose just any of these products. Okay, I'm not going to go into detail how we select an offer and why we select that offer, but if you're just starting out going after the top sellers for today or yesterday or, or even past seven days, all right? Or if you want to keep something without changing it often, it's best to look top sellers past 30 days, okay? Because that means the offer will still be available. 
so once you registered for that offer you will get an affiliate link what you need to do then is copy that link and go back for example let's say you wanted to promote this product here alright let's say we like like I said I'm gonna go into details now the only thing important now is that this cost $19.95 and if it's on um, what's the let's see the actual uh, commission we get that's on a 50% commission so we get maybe nine eight about around ten dollars okay nine ninety or something all right that's what we get if we sell this through our uh, funnel basically our simplest funnel all right so once you register you get your link and this link is what actually you going remember this page here let's go back to the squeeze page and now this is what where you want to redirect people let me just bring that squeeze page back and click here it says more info and thank you page this is the link you would put there okay so now once someone comes to this page and you click OK and they want to get whatever it is we're offering here and they put more info and they put their email here the next page they're gonna see is actually this page with your affiliate link alright and if they make a sale you make around 10 bucks on this particular offer and that's it really that's the really what I wanted to tell you about this is the simplest of sales funnels you can actually have and in this case if you use a, a, a landing page provider, or service provider like Lead Pages or Unbounce or you know some of the other stuff or Megaphone, okay, there are quite a few now in the market. You can pretty much accomplish this within half an hour or so. All right, especially if you already have an autoresponder. Again, just setting up this page and this page on leadpages.net alright, and finding an offer in JVZoo or Warrior Forum that you like and. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, just go after uh, top sellers basically, okay? Because uh, I've shown you in Jamie Zhu, but Warrior Forum has got something similar as well, okay? They call it WS of the Day, for example, and it shows you maybe 10 or 15 uh, past WS of the Days. So again, you would expect these offers to be really good offers and be high converting offers, all right? And that was it, really. That was the simplest sales funnel you can have in your marketing and you should really at a minimum in this particular training using uh, a landing page service provider like lead pages however in another video in another training i've shown you how to do this um in your own web server web host and host this whole thing um on your web host basically okay so i hope you enjoyed this uh, please leave a comment if you did uh, I really enjoyed making this video for you as I always uh, enjoy making videos for you and see you in the next training.